Having an audience is greater than customers. All companies have customers. A few companies have an audience. We're heading to Terminal 5 to catch a plane to Geneva. We're in Geneva because we had just gotten back from Milan doing digital design days with Filippo. He invited us to speak at Geneva. I've never been in Switzerland, so I was going to say yes. There's a big shift in thinking, moving away from looking at people as customers and moving towards an audience. A customer buys your product or service, a transaction happens, and there's an exchange of value. Once that's complete, they go about on their merry life. Now, the difference here is an audience is more of a true fan. They enroll in the community, they join your tribe, and they extol the virtues of your products and services. So this is why an audience is way more powerful, more valuable than a customer. So here it is for the high level people. I just wanna make sure that you walk away with these three things. To be consistent, to give generously, and to serve others. My whole talk is a long way of explaining these three ideas that I think has been a key part to our success. Be consistent means showing up every single day and doing the thing that you think matters and not worrying too much about the results. It will happen if you put in the work. This is a story, do you guys know who Terry Crews is? Yeah, he's pretty beefy, right? It surprised me when they asked him in the article, in an interview, do you like to work out? You would think a guy that looks like this would say, yes, I do love to work out. His answer surprised me. He said, hell no, I hate working out. But here's what I do. When I get up from my bed, I go and put on some workout clothes. That's all, that's the only commitment I'm willing to make. He says, I will drive myself to the gym and I'll just sit in the parking lot. And he sits in the parking lot for a while. He says, it would be stupid if I was dressed and ready to go and sit in the parking lot and didn't do anything. So he says, I'll just go in and do one small set. Many sets later, this is what you look like. Action beats intent. Okay, uh, you guys may know this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk. He's like, ideas are crap. Execution is the game. Pick a direction, adjust as you go. That's the key. Two years ago, I was only charging 50 dollars to do ban banners, mm -hmm. private clients. I was struggling to find them. I was struggling to sell the services. Yeah. And since I just discovered the channel, just binge watched everything. Things that were like two years old mm -hmm. and I just apply it. And That's next awesome. thing you know, I, I'm making like 200,000 now. Wow. And it's like 12 months later. I love meeting people in real life. There's a separation of time, space, and, and glass in this digital proxy avatars that is not quite like the same thing. When you share the same physical space as somebody, it's really unique and magical. I also think people are much better looking and taller than they are in real life, and I'm much shorter and bolder than I am in real life, so there you are. We get to see each other, warts and all, and embrace in any physical form that is comfortable for both of us introverts. <laughs> Giving generously means don't hold anything back. Share 100% transparency, be vulnerable, talk about your numbers, talk about everything that you think somebody else needs to know to help them. People are hungry to find out more, to relate and to connect to you, to be part of your tribe. So give them a tour of the factory, go behind the scenes, invite them into your world, and then become a documentarian of your own work. That's also from this book by Austin Kleon. And this could take many forms, and you could pick whichever one feels most natural to you. If you like to speak, like Joel, do that. If you like to write, or blog, or tweet, or make videos, find your poison and make it. Share with them research, reference, drawings, plans, sketches. Share with them all the stuff that you go through, the, the trials and tribulations of how you get to a solution, because that will allow them a little peek into your world and how you do what you do. I learned something, that we have to stop selling. We have to start celebrating. And what we needed to do was be a champion for the people that we serve. And to move away from this selfish advertising media mindset to one where you serve others. I was hired by LinkedIn to interview this woman. Her name is Beate Chalette. 
So when I interviewed her, I asked her, what gets you up out of bed? Like, why are you still hustling if you made all that money? And she told me, my goal is to get one thank you note a day in my inbox, on direct message, on social media. That's it. And I thought, what a wonderful purpose to have. What a wonderful way to live. And this is when you start to realize that having an audience is greater than customers. All companies have customers. A few companies have an audience. And why is that? Because if you have customers, you have to pay them to pay attention. That's what advertising is. Whereas an audience happily gives you their time and attention. Another super cool thing about being in Switzerland and Geneva is there was a really strong representation for the future pro group. My name is Thomas, I am from Switzerland. Hi guys, I'm Miriam, I'm a blogger, I'm based in Switzerland. I'm Remy from uh, Business Bootcamp. And... <laughs> the pro group is the modern day version of a meetup. You don't have to meet up in person, but you meet up online. And these relationships that form online within the pro group wind up becoming lifelong relationships that you have outside in the real world. I'm often surprised and delighted to see people host their own meetup groups, they talk about doing projects together, they hire one another. It's even cooler to see them in the same physical space. To anybody, if whether you're a freelancer, a solopreneur, or a student in school, how can you begin to build a community or build your first true fan? I think first you have to look at who your fans are and who you'd like to attract. So Seth Godin refers to a smallest viable audience, an SVA. So think about that. Can you pick them out in a crowd? Can you describe them? Is it clear in your mind who they are? What are some of their challenges? And think about that. And then try to deliver value to them. This is a fundamentally different approach than designing a solution and finding a market for it. This is looking for a market, finding their problem, and designing a solution for them. So if you can align what it is that you do for somebody else through that lens, I think you're gonna do really well. And this is how you begin to develop true fans or an audience. That's it for Switzerland, that's it for Geneva. So from this point, I'm gonna say au revoir.